Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. ¿Cómo estamos? Great. Tired because I had to work today. I know that, Alexa. But we have to do it, right? It's the thing that we have to do when we are... <laughs> When we are parents and have some responsibility, we cannot avoid that, right? <laughs> okay. So, hello, everybody. How was your day? Okay, guys, welcome to this section. We are going to continue with the topic. Today, we are going to talk about preposition of time, okay? Because it's necessary that you get the topic in a better way, right? Yesterday, just we were talking about a little bit about that at the end, but today we are going to see what is the topic about, okay? Okay, we are going to wait four minutes more in order the others can connect here. And then we're going to start with the, with the list, okay? Okay, hello everybody. For a while we are going to. Good evening, teachers. Say eh, Wilfredo Gomez Robles. Excellent. Good evening, Will. How are you? How was your day? So, so. Excellent. More or less, right? Interesting. Right? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. And you? Also, right, because you are here and I'm here, ya listos, right? So, Carla, okay. also, uh huh, excellent. Carla, aquí vamos a estar conectados, no más que estamos, andamos aquí en un evento por aquí, todo cae la mayoría. Okay, perfect. Saluditos a todos ahí. <laughs> Thank and you. En, and enjoy, ahí, guys. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, guys. Enjoy your day. Se lo merecen. Es correcto. <laughs> yes. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we're going to start with the class. No worries. Okay. Ya van a conectar los demás. Por aquí andan otros. Ya les dije que conecten ahí. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me check. Okay, vamos a ver. Let's see. Just give me some minutes. And I'm going to open the one knot. Preposition of time. Just give me some minutes. Okay. 
Ok, vamos a ver, let's Ok, vamos a ver la plataforma, chicos. Y vamos a ver si hacemos la review also, right? Vamos a ver. Ok. We are uni 3. Uni 3, let me see. Hello, guys. Okay, yesterday we were talking about the preposition of time a little bit, right? But yesterday we just saying when we are going to use on when we talk about a specific date, right? For example, if you have a month, if you have a date, you are going to use on. But if you have a specific uh, time or hour, you are going to use the preposition at, okay? And also when we talk about something that is more general, that is like a month in a specific, but just a month without a date, we are going to use the preposition in. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm going to share the screen, okay, a little bit. Just give me some minutes, I'm going to open this. Okay. So let's talk about preposition of time, more specific, right? 
So preposition of time, as you know, is at, in, on, okay? A preposition of time is a preposition that allows you to discuss a specific time or a period such as one of the day of the week or the actual time something takes place. For example, the ones that we were uh, doing yesterday like your birthday or the day that you get married or you got married if it is in past, right? So this is a specific day during the year that you have. So that is why is because we are going to use the preposition on. Why? Because the day is intrinsic, right? That, uh, that day, right? It is not specified what is the day, but it's just one day that you are going to get married. It's just one day in the during the year that you are going to have your birthday. So that is why we are going to use the preposition on. Do you remember the exercise that we were doing yesterday? Okay, for so that's the reason, right? So let's talk about the use of at, in, or on, okay? We are going to use at for a specific time, as I told you before. And also, we are going to use the preposition in for month, years, centuries, and long period of time. For example, in 1999, okay? In, uh, in March, in August, in September, we talk about a period of time, okay? Just during the month, that is why we use in, but without a specific day, okay? Be careful with that. Also, we have the preposition on, as I told you before. This is used for days and dates, okay? Like the examples that we were talking yesterday. Your birthday, the day that you get married, or maybe the day that you are going to meet with your partners or you are going to have a meeting with your boss or with your colleagues. So in that case, you are going to use the preposition on, okay? So let's see this chart that is more specific in order you to understand how is the use of each of them. For example, we have an specific time. An example, examples at three o'clock, at 10 uh, or 30 minutes past 10 a.m. at noon, okay, at dinner time, because you have a specific time that you are going to have your dinner. And also we have at bedtime. Bedtime is the time that you're go going to go to bed. You already have your time that in which you are going to go to bed. Maybe it's nine o'clock, maybe it's 11, it is 12, or maybe it is 10. It depends on you, right? But it's something that you have in a specific. So that is why we are going to use at, because it's at an hour in a specific. And also we have at the sunrise. The sunrise have also the time in which it's going to happen. So that is why we use the preposition at. And also we have the sunset. The sunset and also at the moment, at the moment, ahorita, right? In el momento. So this is the way that you're going to use the preposition at, okay? Also we have the preposition in. We have months, we have years, we have centuries, and we have, as I told you before, long period of time, okay? We have, as examples, we have in May, in summer, because summer is a season, right? In which it is a period of time that happened. It is not of the year, so it's a period of time, so that is why I apply with the preposition in. And also we have the sum in the summer, and also in 1990, right? In the 19th, if you want to say, right? In the next century, because it's a long period of time. And also in the ice age, right? Also, this is a, it's a long, long, long period of time. And also we can use it in the past or in the future. Okay, as example, right? If you want to talk about in the past, I was blah, 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 blah. Or in the future, I would like to do blah, 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 right? So in that way, you are going to use this. 
And also we have um, as I told you before, days and dates. For example, on Sunday, this is going to be with the days of the week. If you want to just talk about the day, on Sunday, on Tuesday, and also if you are going to give an, a specific date also, you are going to use the, the month and you are going to use the day. For example, on March 6, right? On December 25, 2010, on Christmas Day. Why on Christmas Day, teacher, if you don't have a specific day? Yes, because Christmas Day is just one day during the year. So that means it's apply. It's a specific time. So for that reason, we use on um, Christmas Day. And also on Independence Day, on Mar my birthday, as we talked yesterday, right? And also on New Year's Eve, okay? El Año Nuevo, right? Also, you have a day in a specific that happened the new year. So that is why we are going to use the preposition. Um, okay, it's clear. Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. Also, we have more examples here, guys. We have look at these examples. We have I have a meeting at 9 a.m. The shop closes at midnight. Jane went home at lunchtime. In England, it often snow in December. Do you think we will go to the Jupiter in the future? There should be a lot of progress in the next centuries. Do you work on Monday? Her birthday is on November 20. Where will be on New Year's Day? Where will you be on New Year's Day? Ah, you maybe you are going to be on your parents' house or maybe on your parents' love house or maybe in your own house, right? It depends on you. So it's going to be something that you're going to decide at the end, right? And also we have more phrases in which we can use the preposition in and also the preposition on. For example, we have in the morning. In the mornings, if you want to use this as a plural, right? We have in the afternoon, or you can use in the afternoons. And also we have in the evening or in the evenings, okay? For example, if we have, I'm going to go to the supermarket in the evening or in the morning or in the afternoon, okay? Or I go to the supermarket in the afternoons, en las tardes, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo más general, to make it more general, okay? So you can use that way in order to talk about this kind of prepositions with these phrases. For example, also we have the preposition um. This is going to be combined, this is going to be combined also with the phrase that I told you before. For example, on Tuesday morning, on Saturday morning, on Saturday afternoon or afternoons, if you want to use this as a plural. And also we have on Monday evenings or evening. It depends on you. Also, you can use it as a phrase. Okay. So this is the use of these a prepositions. Okay. So let's continue, guys. We are going to have a practice, but before I would like to pause the list because, uh, uh, because I tend to forget it, okay? Just give me some minutes. Just give, some, give me some minutes and I'm going to pass the list because it is important. Pass it in also, right? Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, let's start, guys. Alexa Guadalupe Lopez, Viuda de Vasquez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Berta Lisset Medrano Medrano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Jonas Hernandez Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Asunción Abarca Celayandía. Edwin Walter Flores Munguía. José Roberto Perla Guevara. Karen Beatriz Ramírez López. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Carla Susana Flores de Ponce. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Guadalupe Bonilla Cruz. Luis Enrique Varela Rodríguez. Mario Alexander González Zelaya. Ok, Luis. Mario, also. Marlenis Noemí Martínez Reyes. Thank you. Pablo José Mansor Cruz. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Pablo. Pedro Ángel Benítez Andrade. Pedro Mauricio Velázquez Sorto. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Gómez Robles. Thank you, Wilfredo. Jenny Noemí Contreras Mendoza. Jenis, Judy, Vanessa, Rivas de Peña. Okay. So we are complete, guys. Okay, so we can continue with that, with the class, okay? So I'm going to send you a link in which you are going to practice the prepositions, okay? Try to do it and send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? I'm going to give you... 15 minutes, okay? If you need some help, you can tell me. We are going to make two, two practice online. Just give me some minutes. Let me open the WhatsApp group. Okay, give me some minutes and I'm going to send it here. Okay, is there, this is the first practice in life that we are going to do now as a practice, okay? Go ahead. In this practice, guys, we're going to share a little bit Okay, in this practice, just we are going to move the preposition that belongs to each classification. It's a preposition of time. Draw and drop the times in their correct category, okay? So what you are going to do, you, you are going to just move the ones that belongs to each category, which are with at, which are with om, and which are with him, okay? Remember the rules that we were talking about previously about the use of the preposition of time? And then you are going to move it, okay? Go ahead.
Guys, let me know if you need some help. Okay, Alexa. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Alexa is already finished. Okay, Carla, say more time. Okay, perfect, perfect, Carla. No worries. I give you more, more time.
guys, let me, okay, Alexia Guadalupe, she already finished, okay, perfect. So somebody else? Guys, if you need some help, I can help you. Guys, okay, Carla, Susana, this is dumb. Okay, you're dumb. Okay, let's check it. Out. I'm going to share the screen and we are going to see what are the correct answer. Okay, we're going to check it. Out. Just give me some minutes and I'm going to check again. Okay, Carla already checked it also, right? So let's see. Okay, vamos a ver. Okay, what are the ones that belongs to at? Okay, remember that at we used to um refer, refer to an hour in a specific, right? Or a time in a specific. Okay. Here we have at noon or midday, because at noon is al mediodía, quiere decir que es a las 12 en punto, por ende ya es una hora que está intrínseca, está ya inmersa. Entonces, por ende, lo vamos a poner en esta clasificación. También tenemos at, an hour in specific, at 30 minutes past 10, right? And also, what was the other one? Let's check it, out, guys. Also, we have at night. At night, vamos a mover esto. We're going to move this. At night, also we have at bedtime. 
at bedtime because you already have your specific time in which you are going to go to bed. And also we have at, at the weekend. At the weekend, say Carlita also, right? Vamos a ver si no se me mueve por acá. At the weekend, also, it belongs to it. What was the other one? At midnight, also, belongs to here. Porque at midnight a la medianoche, right? At midnight. Okay, I guess these are the ones that belongs to this. Let's see with the preposition on. Remember that on we are going to use it with days of the week and also on a specific dates, okay? For example, we have... May 5, on May 5, on my birthday, because my birthday is just one day in the year. And also we have Sunday, on um, Sunday, right? Also we have, uh, let's see, Tuesday, well, let's see. My birthday on Wednesday evening, also on Wednesday evening because this is the day and also apply the, the, the time, right? Okay, and also let me check. Monday morning also, it belongs to it. Okay, vamos a ver. Let's see. Also we have on Tuesday afternoon, right? Because all the days that have and a specific day is used with the preposition um okay ya se me perdió chicos no se me movió ah uh, where is that se me perdió se me perdió chicos okay so we are going to let it like this right and also we have a uh, on a weekday on a weekday un día de la semana por qué porque es un día en específico right so, aquí está, ya la vi. La que se me había perdido. It's here. And also, is this one, right? Let's see. On Monday morning, ya lo pusimos. Estamos súper bien. Vamos a ver. Let's see with the other one. On a holiday, I guess on a holiday also. En una fiesta, ¿verdad? Tiene un día en específico la fiesta. Por ende, aplica, ¿ok? It's applied here. Also, we have the preposition in. In is referring to more general things. For example, a year in a specific, but without a specific date. And also a month. And also a period of time. For example, in the morning. In the morning. In the evening. In the afternoon. In summer, because it's a period of time, also in summer. And also, we have in spring, because it's a period of time. And also, we have on summer. Remember that summer and winter are seasons, so they are period of time. So, it's apply also, right? Okay. And also, let's talk about the month. A month, but without a day in a specific. Okay, so it's applied also, guys. And fall, autumn, also is a season or a period of time. It's applied also, right? Okay. And also remember that apply in centuries and decades also, right? So that means in the 19th apply also. Okay, and also the year. Let's see, vamos a ver, here, okay, here we are going to place. 
And the last one, in 2013. <laughs> so it's applied. So this is the classification for each of them. Let's check it. Okay, we are good. We are okay. Look at this. We have 10 of 10. So you just have to remember in with which you are going to use in, um, and at. At for a specific time or hour. And also on for a specific dates and and in days of the week. And in for more general, talking about uh, centuries, talking about years, talking about months, but without a day in a specific, okay? Or a period of time. For example, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this is the way that you are going to work with this, okay? Excellent. So, vamos a ver la otra. We are going to send the other one. So just give me some minutes. This is easy, right? I'm going to send you the link. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Let's do the next one. Okay, I'm going to show you what you are going to see in that. And I'm going to explain what you are going to do. Okay, here we have the, the preposition, right? We are going to complete the sentences by clicking in the space and choosing the best preposition of times that belongs to each sentences here. You are going to decide what is the best option. Like my birthday is... Blah, 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 blah. She was born or blah, 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 blah. It happened June 2018, blah, 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 blah. So just to remember in which moments or in which cases we're going to apply at, in, or on. Okay? Go ahead, guys.
Hello? Okay, let's see. Carla Flores is already done. Also, Juanas is already done. Wilfredo Gomez is already done. You got 10 of 10. Okay, Beatriz Lopez. Also, you got, uh, let's see, I can see it. But okay, you're already done also, right? Okay. Excellent, guys. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver. Let's see. What is the first one? My birthday is, because we have a specific date, we are going to use on. We have a specific day and we have the month. So that means it is on. Number two, she was born. Here we have a, a year, but remember that your birthday is in a specific days of the, of the year. So that means in this case, you are going to use the preposition on. She was born on or no, right? But this in this case, I'm not sure about these guys. It depends, right? Because we have an, an uh, a year. Also, it's more general. Yes, you're right. It's in. Because we have a year, but we don't have a specific day. Unless it is intrinsic, right? But the platform uh, got it like this. In 1993. Okay, let's see. Number three. It happened. And here we have a month. And we have a year. So, it is in okay if i know mistake it's in in june 2018 number four she will come here we have a date of the week so in that case we are going to use um okay remember that on is used in days of the week and also in a specific day and months also right so let's see number five he will come here we have an, a specific hour. So in that case, we are going to use at, at 10 a.m. Number six, they like to ski. And here we have a season, a period of time. Okay, remember that in is used for a period of time or a specific uh, season, right? Season apply because it's a short period. Okay, so in that case, we are going to use in winter. Number seven, we move to this city. Here we have an, uh, a year, but we don't have a specific date. So that is why we are going to use in, because we talk about uh, a specific period of time, but it's more general, it's not a specific. So let's number eight, I will finish work. An hour is a period of time, yes or not? Yes. It's short period of time, but it apply in an hour, okay? Number nine, they will meet. Here we have a day of the week. So it is on, on Sunday. They will meet on Sunday. And let's see, number 10, she will go to the bar and winter. Winter is a period of time also for that reason is in okay in let's check it let's check it okay look at this we got 10 of 10 guys excellent so you're pretty good at that okay remember just you just take into account in which moments we are going to use the preposition on, in which moment we are going to use the preposition at, in which moment we are going to use the preposition in. And all is going to be okay, okay? Excellent. So, now guys, we are going to pass with the manual, okay? Because we need to check the manual. Just give me some minutes and I'm going to share. Let's see.
Okay, let's continue with these. So, where do you work? Unit three. Listen to your teacher read the following departments in a company. Then match them with the activities they perform. Es ya lo pasamos, right? Yeah, we already did it. I am, come on, guys. I was lost. Just give me some minutes and I'm going to get where we are right now. So this was the, the, the homework for yesterday, right? Create your schedule with all things that you have to do during the week. These already did it and we, here, and we are here, right? So tell different people the specific time and date of the activity I do in my workplace. Ask three classmates about their schedule, activities, and specify the time and the day. So what we are going to do now, guys, we are going to ask the three partners what are the specific activities they do in their workplace. But in this case, we are going to use the preposition of time to express the activity. Which day do you do it? For example, we are going to suppose uh, Carla, okay? Carla is my partner, okay? Carla, Carla send the message in the mornings, okay? The time. Send the message, Carla, first the name. Activity, send the message. Date, on Monday morning or in the morning or at 10 p.m. on Sunday at 10 p.m. We are going to suppose. So you're going to get three activities that she does and what time she does that activities, okay? And then we're going to continue with Roberta and then we're going to continue with Peter and so on. For this activity, we are going to work in groups of three and you each of you is going to ask to your partner in order to have the three people that are there and you are going to describe what are their activities and what are the time in which they do the activities okay it's clear so we are 13 let me check okay uno va a quedar de dos de, de cuatro perdón Okay, let's do the classroom. Uh, nueve, okay. Three. Okay, go ahead, guys. Get into the salas and ask to your partner what are the activities and in which time they do the activities, okay? Go ahead. Get into the salas, please. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Go ahead, guys.
guys, let me know when you finish. Guys, let me know when you finish. Okay, guys, we are going to finish 
I guess it is enough time. I'm going to close the salas. <clears throat> Okay, who's ready? Okay, perfect guys. We're going to pass to another activity, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to ask a different partner these questions and we are going to write the answer. For example, let's see number one. It says, when is your next meeting? Number two. What time do you arrive to work? Number three, when are you next when are your next vacations? So this is for you. You had to ask to someone else and you have to write it down the answer that your partner is giving you. Okay, go ahead, guys. You got 10 minutes. Just let me know when you finish, please.
Okay, Alexa said I arrived to work at eight o'clock. Number three, my next vacation will be in the next year. Muy bien, excellent, Alexa. Somebody else? Okay, let's see. Carla, my next meeting is on Tuesday. Okay, on Tuesday morning, right? Okay, perfect. Great, guys. Somebody else? Okay, so we're just two participations are okay. So let's continue, guys. Just give me some minutes because the platform is charging, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, no, 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 carga, okay. So we have to wait. Or if you will, we can pass to another activity. Okay, Karen said, my next meeting on the Tuesday at night. Okay, my next meeting is on Tuesday at night. On Tuesday at night, at, at night, my next meeting. Okay, here you have a case in which you can use two prepositions in the same sentences. For example, my next meeting is on Tuesday at night. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. Meeting. Just... Review them the word meeting, okay? Meeting, me meeting, okay, with E. Perfect, Karen. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So let's see. Here we have these vocabulary words. Work with a partner. One is A and one other one is letter B. I A, work with the words from page 37. And student B, work with the words in 38. And scramble the words and describe them so you your partner guess the, the name of the department. Here you have the word in this order, right? You are going to order that word, okay? And you are going to say, what is the definition of this word and what do they do? Okay. For example, we have, I uh, put in a 37 says, right? And the 37 doesn't charge. Yes, 37, 38. Okay. So we are going to work with this and the other is going to work with this. Mm -hmm. 38 and 37. Okay, so you have to guess what is the def what is the word. You have to order the word and then you have to write the definition and you, oh, okay, you have to write the definition and you have to write what do they do for the definition. For example, if we have a manager, what does the managers do? Una actividad que el manager haga, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que hace el manager? O se va a escribir ta, 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 ta. Pero depende de lo que le salga aquí. ¿Ok? It depends. For example. Purchasing. ¿Ok? Purchasing. What is a purchasing? Es como... Una compra, ¿verdad? O comprador. Just let me check. Purchasing. Oh, 
comprador o adquisitista, right? We were not lost, ¿ok? No estuvimos tan perdidos, ¿ok? Adquisitista o comprador, ¿ok? This is the purchasing, ¿ok? Let's edit this. Purchasing, ¿ok? Purchasing. And what the purchases do, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que hace un comprador o un adquisitista, right? What does he do? Okay, you are going to look for that activities and you are going to write one activity that a purchaser does, okay? Okay, is clear what you're going to do? Okay, perfect. Go ahead, guys. Ok, vamos a ver. He buying or acquiring acquiring services. Services. Services to make supply right but you can extend that but if you're not okay so in that case you are going to write more but try to be more specific in order that you can have the enough space to write it down the whole sentence okay he buying or acquiring services right so that's what they do okay or what that's what he does or what she does. It depends if it is male or if it is female, right? Y así lo vamos a ir haciendo. You're going to look for the words. You're going to scramble the words first. And then you are going to write the definitions of that word. And then you are going to write an activity that that profession, so that definition words make. <coughs> Sorry. I'm back from my throat. So go ahead, guys.
guys, finish. <laughs> Finish. <clears throat> Just give me some minutes and I'm going to refresh this in order the other page appear because uh in that page uh we can find the the words that we are looking for. No yet, right? Okay, I have some problems with the with the platform, but we're going to try to resolve. Okay, for a while we can work in the homework, guys, if you want. Okay, we are going to try to work in the homework and then we can uh, finish with the activity. What do you think? Are you agree? Okay, perfect. So give me some minutes. Okay, this is unit three, right? And the homework 15. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to share the screen, guys. And we are going to work in the homework before finish. <clears throat> because at the time we are going to stop with the manual there. And we are going to let it as a homework, okay? To the next mo Monday, we are going to check the, the words that you have there, okay? For a while, we are going to finish with the homework from week three or unit three, okay? So it says, where do they work? Decide where does each person work? For example, we have, she serves food. When does she work? She works in a restaurant, she works in a school, or she works in a bed shop. In which places we can serve a food? <clears throat> uh -huh. We serve our foods in the restaurant. Very good. Also, we have number two, they build houses. In which uh, in which work we can build houses? In the bakery, in the flower shop, or in the construction site? Construction site. Excellent. The construction site. Excellent. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank number, you so much. Number three. She teaches English, okay? In which place she teaches English? In the garden, in the school, or in the coffee shop? In the school. In the school. Excellent. So let's see number four. She plays instruments. In which place we can place instrument instruments? In the concert hall, in the drugstore, or in the graveyard? In the concert hall. In the concert hall. Very good. Excellent. And the last one, guys. Number five. They love animals. Politicians, veterinarian, or astronomers? Veterinarian. Astronomers. Veterinarian. veterinarian. Okay. Veterinarian. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. So let's check it. So you got 20 of 20 points. Would you like I send the homework to the WhatsApp group, guys? Okay, I'm going to take a picture from the homework and I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group in order you can take notes if you need it, right? Just can you take the other one? Okay, let's see. It's number three. Okay. 
Ok, le vamos a tomar a la última. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group. Let me check number five. Que a ver si me mantengo en el equivocado. Number three and four. Number one. Ah, esta es otra. Mandé las de ayer también. Permítame, me voy a borrar esas últimas dos porque si no se me van a equivocar. Number five, number one. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, homework number fifteen. Homework number fifteen. Okay, take a look at this and keep in mind. Do not forget, please, to make your homework. Finish the homework of the platform because it is important that you stay on time with the homeworks, okay? Please don't forget to do it. Okay, do you have any questions about the class? Do you have any questions? Okay, if you don't have any questions, guys, I see you the next week on Monday, okay? I hope you have you pass a good weekend and enjoy your weekend. Rest a lot and have a nice rest of the, the night, okay? Have a nice dreams. Good night, everybody, and bye-bye. See you next week at the same time and the same channel, okay? Good night, good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye and take care, guys. Bye-bye. You too. Good night, teacher. Good, Good night. night. Good night, night Peter. teacher. Good night, everybody. Ya me vio salido. Okay, Karen. Good night. See you next Monday. Thank you so much to all of you guys.